Rubel, hello. Hello. Today you're publishing AXA's full year results. What are the highlights of 2019? This year was marked by great successes in the implementation of our Focus and Transform strategy. In line with this strategy, we have focused on specific objectives to deliver more growth thanks to our preferred segments, simplify the group's footprint and maintain its balance sheet. At the same time, we have continued the transformation of AXA by decreasing our exposure to financial risks, increasing customer satisfaction and pursuing our innovation efforts, notably by creating unique clinics in emerging countries. And how did this impact results? Once again, AXA delivered a strong operating performance. Year after year, the organic growth dynamic continues. Our gross revenues increased by 5% to 104 billion euros. This is the result of our decision to focus on high potential segments such as health and PNC commercial lines, but also prominent geographies such as France and Europe, where we are strengthening our positions, as well as Asia and the US, thanks to AXA Excel. Above all, this growth came with an increase in our profitability, notably driven by our technical excellence resulting in record underlying earnings of 6.5 billion euro. Finally, despite a low interest rate environment, we also confirmed the solidity of our balance sheet, notably with a solvency ratio up 5 points. All this allows us to propose to our shareholders a higher dividend. As in 2018, these results demonstrate the relevance and the very good execution of our strategy by our teams. Now, a year ago, after major strategic moves, you set three main priorities. Where are you now on those? We've made good progress on all of them. We've completely divested from our US life and asset management businesses. This is a major step towards shifting access profile away from financial market risks. We've also continued the deleveraging of the group as we committed to do. Finally, we've made significant progress in the operational integration of AXA XL. We must nevertheless continue to limit the volatility of this division, which is impacted by natural disasters once again last year. Now, you just mentioned natural disasters. The climate issue has taken a new dimension since last year, and AXA has been active on this topic for a long time. Why? The role of insurance is to protect everyone against risks and to provide solutions to meet the major challenges facing our societies. This is why AXA has decided to leverage its expertise and economic strengths to contribute to the fight against climate change. We have been doing so for several years now, but last November we considerably intensified our action. Our objective is clear. Accelerate our contribution to a low carbon and more resilient economy. It is a priority if we want to achieve the objectives of the Paris Agreement. Now, business transformation, financial performance, societal commitments. Can the company really meet all these challenges at the same time? As an insurer, we have the opportunity and responsibility to use our financial strengths and expertise to address major societal issues. This is the heart of our mission. But a company can only do that if everyone is moving in the same direction. And I have to say, what makes me most proud when I look back on 2019 is to see the way all AXA employees have moved forward together. I would like to sincerely thank them for their involvement, but in particular for their determination. Thomas Bibel, thank you very much. Thank you.